hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl jennifine how are you guys doing so i'm just gonna go straight right into this video it's a review video and a demo you already know and it's already had the title right there i'm gonna be reviewing the new foundation from urban decay and the concealer and these are called stay naked wickless liquid foundation up to 24 hours wear same with the concealer you guys know i'm all about trying new product all about new foundation new concealer especially new concealer so if there's a new concealer in the market why don't try the foundation as well okay. these are not cheap they are pricey these cost 29 pound 50 and these cost 20 pounds so literally i have like 50 pound worth of foundation and concealer right yeah so they came out with 50 different shade of foundation yep we go from the lightest to the darkest and also with with the concealer they came out with about 24 shades i'm not mad about that everybody can find their own shade but i went for i think when i was trying to find my shades for me from the concealer i didn't really find anything that is kind of like relative to what i like what i normally buy like for example yellow warm golden order to concealer it's more of neutral red i don't know what the concealer is all about but i think the foundation is a good start you know this foundation it tends to be flexible breathable risky matte finish medium beautiful coverage does not transfer mm, i'm gonna find out minimizes the appearance of pores stay true color waterproof vegan formula does not contain animal derived in ingredient or any product that's a love claim especially when a foundation tends not to transfer everyone knows foundation to transfer you know makeup transfer that's why girls we know we don't really wear, like to wear white because nobody got time for for that stain you know taking off from ooh, you see this is so beautiful i love it i think literally i'm paying why did they look as if they have max in it you know actually this is my first time of opening this in the room in the packaging and the cover seems like I can see some fingerprints in it. Honestly, I haven't touched it yet, but you know, it's gonna be really, really messy because it's like a mirrored cover. You can see this is a very lovely packaging, lovely concealer bottle. It's not really like a glass bottle, it's kind of a rubber plastic bottle. I, I think it could be durable. I don't know if it's gonna break quickly when it falls, but who knows? I am loving this packaging of this foundation. I have the shade here. 71 wy so that means 71 warm yellow i didn't take to have a bit of warm to yellow on my on the skin tone depends on my neutral so you can actually see your number on top of your foundation packaging paper and same goes for the concealer i have shade 70 ny just probably two shades lighter than the, my concealer like like my foundation and this is 70 neutral yellow I had to go for neutral yellow because i definitely there are no other shade i say warm golden so literally those two are close to my under two so without further ado let's put our primer and let's go straight on with this as you can see i've done my eyebrows already just want to make this fast quick tutorial this is the infallible magic incense drop i really love this primer sometimes it does make me oily but it actually does smudge my foundation so i'm just gonna blend it out with a steep brush so honestly um i really love this um idea over decay actually went through i was thinking about it the other day before they actually came out with foundation i was like each time i go into shop like our separate no sorry our westfield i was like everyone is always inside mark everyone's always inside fenty boots you know nicks but I hardly see people in Over Decay store. Not because I don't see people. They do they do have people going to do that. There's not like constant crowd that goes to my cosmetic to 
is always in all but decay firstly when they had their foundation and concealer i think they didn't actually come up with loads of shades so obviously you, it's not relatable to anybody so i'm not going to go there to buy it the one thing that i do know people is relatable to people and i always go and buy it, but not always that like every day is a setting spray they really have a good lovely nice great great setting spray they came out with foundation and concealer that is actually a good marketing strategy because now everyone is going to the shop to to buy the foundation buy the concealer and buy something else because you know they're trendy that's actually good and they didn't just come out with like 30 shades they came out with 50 shades and very and they are very inclusive to like everybody we have your shade this face liquid i think i did a lot of pump there that's because i love a very full coverage foundation okay it doesn't look bad i think it's a bit too warm but you know good thing i didn't go for 80 wy because i was so close in by 80 warm yellow i was like mm, nah let me try again because i don't want to do the same mistake i made with my um warmer beauty I actually went really lighter and i'm not regretting it just that i don't waste money like that i can see it feels too dark for me but you know most of my foundation i have is always close to this shade or even lighter we'll work something out so first i'm just gonna blend it out and it actually feels really smooth it's very full coverage i don't know how many pump i had there but it's actually giving me full coverage we stay in summer so this shade is not bad to wear at this time okay so yeah maybe the concealer is gonna actually give us some brightness so before it dries out let me quickly blend it out because it's actually a matte foundation so i'm not gonna be expecting more just all in one go four five pumps in one go and i am loving the coverage guys loving it this foundation is actually dried down but it's not making my face very like stiff hard to dry no i am a dry skin and it's actually leaving my face very soft matte and hydrated underneath so yeah it looks to be dark but we we'll work with it doesn't look bad at all so next is our concealer so we're just gonna conceal and see how well this concealer work underneath this foundation if it's gonna make me look bad or make me look good does it crease that's one thing we don't know for sure full coverage flexible breathable do not transfer risky matte finish correct the look for imperfection waterproof i think it's almost the same thing with the foundation or um, probably i don't know if it's the same ingredient but it looks like the same pox to do i am using the shade 70 NY in the stay naked concealer look at that applique too i like it. it's very curved it's not like the regular applicator we used to that's very flat both sided so this is very curved and the concealer is actually coming out in one way and the other side will be like just surrounding the concealer Ooh. So this is a neutral yellow concealer and this is the only concealer that i feel that had a bit of yellow tiny bit of gold to it because the other concealer was so neutral red and cool that that's not me application is just so simple for the right places This is gliding on my skin so smoothly and I like it. So for this look, I am not gonna contour. I'm just gonna brush my face as part of my contouring. So I'm not just gonna go straight ahead to just blend this concealer out. I just wanted to set a bit to see if it moves it does not move this is the one i applied first i'm using my wet or damp beauty blender yes it's a bit rough but it's working it's actually blending really nice that's probably be matte concealer but it's actually good blending it's gonna do matching i think there's enough concealer i actually applied there she's gonna use to divide my face to be as if I'm contouring, but I am not. I 
I didn't put much product on my forehead so I'm just gonna use the SS blender of concealer just on my forehead because so. when something said to be a matte finish it does tend to like dry quickly and I do have pores I have a warm makeup over a month I haven't cleansed my face like in terms of like exfoliated exfoliated my pores is showing but not as much because the concealer and the foundation is actually covering that but getting closer I can see it so I'm gonna bake my face with the or set my face with a Too Faced Bonded Weight Setting Powder in translucent and also be mixing the powder with my Juvia's Place powder called Gobi <music> So I'm applying the lacta powder to where I crease and to where I want the highlights to be. So it's been baking for a minute or so. So I'm just gonna dust underneath my high half lightly just lightly this is my mac nw 46 powder so i use this set all of my face most of the time and also use it to remove any powder excess you know with that been out of the way. I'll be using the Fenty Coconari bronzer to bronze up and warm up our skin and also probably use it as a contour. So to blush up my face, I am going to be using the Tarte Blush called Trilled. Mmm, is it doing up justice? Not so much as we want. For our highlights, I'm going to be using the Makeup for uh, Makeup Forever Profusion 2 highlights. Honestly, uh, as I'm applying this eyeliner, I can definitely see the texture. This is a demo and a review, so I don't have time for a wet test today. <laughs> to finish this face, I'm just gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay Original All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So guys, I'm just gonna go do my hair, do my lipstick, and come back for our third and our final decision review. You know. Welcome back guys and this is the finished look to our review. What do you think? Something very plain, not something out there. My blush is not too blushy. My eye light here is in your face but it's a step back from being your face, you know. It's like I'm telling you there's a makeup on their skin because can you see the glow? So my thoughts, that's why you are here. My impression, what do I think? First things first, I love the concept of this foundation and concealer. You know, if any brand want to be famous, if any brand want to have sale, you need to come out with a foundation or a concealer and make sure it has loads of ranges that people are not gonna tear you down. And I am happy about this. Um, obviously, it's not my cup of tea. I have a lot of foundation inside that I use regular basis that I prefer to use. But this is one of them. But it's not like my top foundation. I like it. It's actually a soft matte finish. It's not too drying. It's not too very tied to my skin. It's not a, like a thick consistency. It's like a a very light weight. And it's medium to full coverage and it's definitely beautiful. I use about four or five pumps on this look and it actually covers my upper imitation. Concealer wise, again, that was the only shade I could get that suits me. But it's, it's not really my go-to concealer to use. The concealer is lightweight creamy. It's 
very spreadable the coverage is there i like it it's not really like drying as well looking up close up no creasing because i actually say it properly the only pause i can see is the pause of me applying my highlighter but this foundation and concealer actually actually minimize those pores so um i'm gonna give this concealer and foundation and I you know I'm gonna give it a try again but this time around it's gonna be like in the daylight um, I'm actually filming around 8 p.m. in the evening so there's no be of natural light to see my actual uh, skin tone from this foundation but what I can see is from this uh, fake light right here is okay it matches my skin tone my neck you know not bad i can get away with it it matches my hand i like to see my foundation looks good in the daylight because that's where i go out people see me a lot night time i could get away with it you know so yes guys this is a definitely pass and a win for me this foundation claims to not to be transfer so it does not transfer i actually need to test that and i can touch my face and i don't feel as if five seconds of touching your face there's no transfer rubbing your face you will definitely get transfer so that you normally find these in like a medication bottle or something like that over years of opening foundation i've not actually seen a leaflet that can translate in different languages we got arabic french english wow we got chinese right here hungarian oh my god is, I'm about to chuck it. I was like, what is that? And I found this in here. Come on, buddy K. Kudos. L little bit, because I keep pressing hard. The claims of it does not transfer. It's actually true. It does not actually transfer. I tried it on a piece of paper. It doesn't. So even if I try it on my clothes, it won't transfer. On that note, I am going to end this video right here. This is me trying the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And I say is I'm Jennifer or Jenny Fine approved. And it's 9 over 10 approved for me. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and this review and tutorial, mini tutorial slash demo, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That means slap a like. You know, hit that like button right there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're new to my channel please subscribe because you know what i'm the realest channel leave your comment below on your thoughts on what do you think about this foundation and on that note i will be seeing you in my next video take care of yourself and be nice to others if you don't love yourself who will hey guys right for you no, I'm not. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, that's what I got for you guys. Just a review and a demo. Nearly there. Nearly there. So, we're just gonna be ready. Am I ready enough? I think 